Hi friends. Welcome to a new learning video on Pharma Guideline. In this video, we will discuss the out of specification investigation in the pharmaceutical industry. First of all, let us understand the out of specification and causes of its occurrence. Out of specification result is simply the result that lies outside the specifications and it is required to conform. When you conduct a quality control test on a finished product or raw material, and your test result falls outside of official specifications, you should assign it as out of specification result and conduct an investigation. A confirmed out of specification result leads to a non conforming product. Out of specification results can derive from anywhere in production or quality control facility, where tests are carried out and matched against approved specifications. Here are common sources of OOS events. First source is laboratory error. Types of laboratory errors include analyst error, incorrect calculations, and malfunctioning equipment, use of incorrect standards or sample preparation, and measurement error. Confirmation that this was the cause of the OOS condition would not constitute a product failure. Laboratory error should be relatively rare. Frequent errors suggest a problem that might be due to inadequate training of analysts, poorly maintained or improperly calibrated equipment, or careless work. Whenever a laboratory error is identified, the laboratory should determine the source of that error and take corrective action to prevent recurrence. Second source is non-process related or operator error in manufacturing. This category is concerned with human or mechanical errors that occur during the manufacturing process. For example, failure to add a component, operator error, malfunction of equipment or cross-contamination. Confirmation that this was the cause of the OOS condition would constitute a failure of a specific batch of product. Third source is process or manufacturing problem. This category is concerned with process or manufacturing errors due to control over processes. For example, incorrect mixing times and heterogeneity of blends. Confirmation that this was the cause of the OOS condition would constitute a failure within that particular lot, but may also mean that other lots may be impacted as potential failures. FDA regulations require an investigation to be conducted every time there is an OOS test result. The investigation should aim to identify the root cause of the OOS result, which could be an aberration of the measurement or the manufacturing process. Regulatory authorities are very sensitive to how any out-of-specification test result should be handled. WHO says that pharmaceutical manufacturers are required to have written procedures on the steps to take when any result does not meet specifications. OS rules require that any single result that does not meet specifications must be investigated and not discarded without written justification or evidence that it was a genuine analyst error. In addition, simply averaging a failed result and passing the result to obtain an average passing result could be interpreted as testing into compliance. All OS events must be investigated and resolved in a timely manner. All investigations, conclusions, decisions, and corrective actions must be documented and retained as part of the official laboratory records for that particular lot. Now let us understand the procedure for the investigation of OOS results. Investigation of out-of-specification results can be conducted in four steps. In the first step, we need to understand assignable cause in out-of-specification investigation. In second step, an initial out-of-specification investigation is conducted. In third step, a formal out of specification investigation and measurements is conducted. In fourth step, if assignable cause is identified then the test is repeated, and if assignable cause is not identified then retesting of the product is conducted. Now let us understand all four steps in detail. Step 1. Understanding assignable cause in out of specification investigation. Before diving into conducting out of specification investigation, you should understand what are assignable causes and if an assignable cause has resulted the out of specification event. Test results that are obtained under the following assignable causes must be invalidated and the test should be repeated. Sample The original sample was not representative or was insufficient in quantity. Method or documentation Unclear test method or standard operating procedure directions which resulted in incorrect test execution. Analyst error. Examples include, but are not restricted to, the incorrect weight of the sample used, sample or sample solution spills, dilution errors, or improper test procedure. Instrument or system malfunction. Examples include, but are not restricted to, interfering electrical surges or spikes, the pump stops pumping, or the injector stops injecting. 
If a readily apparent assignable cause is determined by the initial investigation, the initial out of specification result is invalidated. Step 2 Conduct initial out of specification investigation. The exact cause of an out of specification event can be difficult to determine with certainty. And it is unrealistic to expect that analyst errors will always be documented. Simply retesting as a strategy raises three problems. It is a regulatory requirement to conduct an investigation before any retests are conducted. It may imply that there is a lack of control. The laboratory is not concerned as to the causes of possible failures and therefore these conditions may recur on the retest. It may lead to the discarding of the original result without invalidation. It is therefore essential that a laboratory predetermines its course of action in the event of an out of specification. This should be done by a combination of standard operating procedures supported by an OS investigation form. This approach minimizes errors and subjective decisions and ensures the investigation is thorough and fully documented. The initial investigation includes but is not limited to examinations of analytical records, raw data, laboratory notebooks, analytical procedures used, formula and calculations used, equipment or instruments used, sample preparations, storage and handling, testing environment, and analyst error. If some of the initial investigational areas listed here look like the assignable causes in step 1, then you are right. That's because the objective of an initial investigation is to ascertain if an assignable cause is readily apparent which might be attributed to out of specification result. In that case, when an assignable cause is found without a doubt, declare the original out of specification result as invalid and repeat the test to replace the invalidated result. Step 3. Conduct a formal out of specification investigation and measurement. If the out of specification result cannot be invalidated by the initial investigation, or if there are multiple OOS events, you should initiate a full scale formal inquiry involving management, QA, and QC personnel. Multiple OOS results would indicate that the cause of the problem is most likely to be either operator error related or manufacturing related. At this time, you should extend the investigation beyond the laboratory to the production area. The batch record and any batch processing deviations should be reviewed in an attempt to formally identify the source of the out of specification. If you do not have a sufficient original sample on hand, a decision to resample is to be made at this point of investigation. The formal investigation is conducted in order to identify process or non-process related errors. Ultimately, QA management will review the investigation, make conclusions and propose corrective actions. Step 4a. Repeating the test, when assignable cause is identified. When an assignable cause is identified, by results of either the initial or formal out of specification investigation and measurements, the original OS result is invalidated. In this case, you should repeat all tests that were invalidated. The result will replace the original invalidated results only. The original sample preparation shall be used for this testing if the assignable cause was not due to the sample preparation. A single analysis is performed to replace a single initial out of specification result. For example, an assignable cause has been identified for one of the 10 results from a content uniformity test or one of the 6 results from a dissolution test. The original single result is invalidated. To replace the single invalidated result, you should test one additional dosage unit for the content uniformity test or perform a dissolution test using one dosage unit. Step 4b. Conduct a retest when no assignable cause is identified. You should conduct a retest under a carefully designed retest protocol based on the specific problem identified, the history of the product, method, and badge, and must delineate the number of retests to be performed. The retest actions resulting from an OOS investigation follow some important rules. A retest is defined as additional testing on the same sample, from the same bottle of tablets or capsules in the same drum or mixer. Retesting is acceptable only after the investigation has commenced, and only if retesting is appropriate to investigate the OS event. If you have enough sample available, the retest protocol must be executed using the same sample set that was the source of the original out of specification result. You should adopt the rule, a minimum of three retests is required for all types of samples, except a minimum of five retests is required for formulated products. A control sample may be used to verify the accuracy of the analysis. The retest protocol must specify acceptance criteria for the control sample. Consider assigning an analyst other than the one who performed the original test to perform retesting. 
You cannot continue retesting indefinitely. The retest protocol should nominate the number of retests required. At the conclusion of retesting, a decision to either accept or reject the batch should be made. Additional retesting should not be conducted simply to test the product into compliance. Here are some FDA guidances on retesting as a result of out of specification investigation. A retest is acceptable if the review of the analyst's work indicates an analyst's error. In this case, limited retesting is required and the original result may be replaced by the retest result. A retest is acceptable if the investigation is inconclusive as to whether the OOS is a laboratory error and the laboratory needs to find out whether the OOS result is an outlier or a reason to reject the batch. Resampling is appropriate where provided for by an official monograph such as sterility testing, content uniformity and dissolution testing. In the limited circumstances in which an OOS investigation suggests that the original sample is unrepresentative, resampling is acceptable. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.